Welcome to Guys Talk Knives Live, episode number 164. Sorry for the delay, guys. Uh, we had Charlie Height in here from Benchmade running through some product that you're going to get to see uh, throughout 2021. Is that right, TZ? That is correct, <laughs> and it is uh, really exciting. <coughs> it is exciting. There's some really cool stuff that he showed us, that is for sure. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's fiddling around with camera one right now, trying to lock it in. He's wanting to get tighter on it or something. I don't want that tight shot. I don't like that tight shot. See, he tried to put my... Uh, yeah, see that? Oh. oh. <laughs> Guys, we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com, the world's largest knife store. That was my arm. And uh, we are <laughs> trying to do a live show. We were delayed by a meeting uh, from Benchmade in the studio right before us, but we we're going to run through all five items just like we had in the past. Of course, we've got Isaac over there running the board. TC is in the cockpit. Melina is here to answer all of your questions over on Torture Cam. She will do her very best to uh, pass those questions along to us so that we can get through them. And that is my arm again, and I am Andy. <laughs> <laughs> <to the guys. laughs> we're, we're just going to have that. fun with this. But we can go back to that. We can show what the cat gave me. Go back to oh, two. Oh, oh, wait, let's see. Where is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. The cat gave me a present to show on the show today. Cat scratch fever. That's right. That's a, that's a good you thought one. it was wrong. It was. It was, it was a cat good scratch one. Scratch fever. She did a little uh, back like that and oh. ran off. It was kind of fun. It was kind of fun. Guys, we want to let you know just right now, straight away. This is the last live show of 2020. Uh, we will not be on during the week of Christmas nor the week of. Well, the week before Christmas or the week between Christmas and New Year's. So this is our very last live show. We will drop some episodes of some things and put them out there, but we will not um, We will not be in. We're going to take a little break, take a little hiatus, and then get back to things as we move forward. Uh, business, other business that we have, we gave away that Benchmade Mini Osborne last week, and Alan Davis was, uh, he won it. So he was very, very happy. He is a longtime show watcher, watched the show years ago when we had a whole other crew and a whole other show and did things like sell um, at night. <laughs> kind of fun stuff back <laughs> in the day. So Alan's been around for a while, so it was great to have him win that bench made mini Osborne and, and all of that. If you have not paid attention to what's going on on the website or in our email newsletter, make sure you are. We have uh, reached the threshold of shipping deadlines. So standard shipping. Uh, that ended yesterday, or actually I think it ends today. Standard shipping ends today to guarantee your delivery by Christmas, but two-day shipping is still out there, uh, and that will run all the way to the 18th. The good news for you is we are running an 11th hour sale. That 11th hour sale includes two-day shipping from FedEx for only $9.99. So you can get your two-day shipping all the way up through the 18th. If you place your order by 10 a.m. that morning, you're guaranteed to get that order by Christmas. Also, if you spend $99 or more, you're going to get a free SMKW Navy ball cap. It is the trucker cap, the one we did at Blade Show a few years ago. You'll get that for free with your order if you place an order over $90, $99 or more. Basically, you're going to get that as well. What else is going on? Anybody got any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns? I'm getting shaked off from the shake off. A shake off. A blur there. Man, are you still over there just sharpening? He's found a new hobby, boys and girls. He's trying to perfect his new hobby. You like that? Does that feel do. good? It, it is very therapeutic. It is very therapeutic. And I think this is going to help me um, just deal with people in general. <laughs> what, if you got to cut them, you're going to have a nice sharp knife? No, 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 not at all. I'm just going <laughs> to retreat to my little happy place where I can just get my knife sharp. Notice he went right to that retreat as I was running through the opening of the show. <laughs> 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 Let's jump into this then, and I'm, we're going to talk about the five knives that we have for today's show. And we'll start off with a cold steel that has been out for 2020 for a while, but I wanted to show it to you again because I don't think we've ever had it on the show. This is one of those triad lock uh, cold steel air lights, and I picked the drop point, but there is a tanto as well. Um, this is a super thin triad locking lockback from cold steel nice steel in it and you're talking about a price tag of $74.99 let me show it to you up close and personal and then we will talk about it on the other side so you're talking about a knife that has a 3.5 inch aus 10a drop point blade with a satin finish 
it is 0.11 inches thick and it does have those ambidextrous thumb studs so this is good for lefty or righty that is a triad lock right there on the back those are g10 handle scales uh, this thing does close down to 4.5 inches closed that's the front of the knife right there and then on the back of the knife you're going to see a tip up pocket clip now this pocket clip is removable on this side and if you notice on the other side you've got a spot for another pocket clip you get a second pocket clip in the box for this knife so that you can have ambidexterity for the entire knife so cold steel is cool enough to send you a lefty and a righty pocket clip that go onto this knife it is a thumb stone opener open it like this you're talking about a knife that is eight inches overall and it weighs in at just 3.2 ounces 74.99 that's the cold steel air light drop point from Cold Steel, and you can find that at smkw.com. I like this knife. Look how super thin that is. <laughs> That's really cool looking. <laughs> I'm just like staring at it. He's, it, he's sharpening again. I love the... Um, that's another one of those that I love the uh, the blade grind on. It catches the light, oh, and yeah. it just looks really cool. Yeah. You, you just see it pop as it goes through there and all of that. Um, then triad lock, of course, is super strong on these. And you're talking about a very, very light, thin knife. Um, a lot of times people complain about cold steel because they're so heavy. Right. And this one is not. Yeah. You're getting all that cold steel goodness in a strong knife that is super light because of the handle material and how thin those handles are. And frankly, it doesn't feel bad in hand. Yeah. And I, I actually really like that blade steel, too. I like Austin. Um, it's I mean, it's a it's a good all around steel. It just works. That's not bad. That's, that's not bad at all. I like it. I'm gonna quit right there. Three third times the charm. And it's cold steel, so it's gonna chop some heavier duty stuff than just paper. That's right. It's nice, for sure. This would be a good work knife. Yeah. Because it's gonna stay in your pocket all day, and you're not gonna know it's there. It's gonna lock up nice and strong. You can get through those boxes and other stuff, and um, do everything that you need to do with it. I like it. Seventy four ninety nine at smkw.com. Any questions, comments, thoughts, concern? Are they quiet today? Did we get them off guard? <coughs> We're on the wrong slate. We're saying it's the one, episode 165.2 recording. So we're, we're confused. Oh. Oh. Can we edit that? I'm sure. I, in, I told them we would do it after the show because technology. <laughs> I think we can do it in the middle of the show. I could be wrong. I don't know. <laughs> technology, let's nod. 2020. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I, um, this could be bad, folks. Hold on to your seats. We were uh, we were in a in a hurry over here trying to copy and paste, and we yeah, it happens. It happens. Yeah, we we would never ever make those mistakes ourselves, but <laughs> <laughs> I've had to go back and do full show. You're re-edits. funny guy. <laughs> You're funny guy. <laughs> I'm serious. We we had to go back when we were doing these from the house in the beginning. We had to go back and do full show edits. I, I had numbers that were completely wrong. So oh. it was like, oh, this is show, not show 134. This is show 133. Whole bit on that kind of stuff. So but that's the first knife of the day, Cold Steel Airlight Drop Point. Uh, next knife up is the uh, one of my favorite knives. I've shown it before on the show. Um, this is a Mossback Hunter from CRKT. This is a small to medium sized fix, full tank fixed blade from CRKT, and I absolutely love this thing. It feels fantastic in your hand. Um, it's, to me, it's just the right size. Comes with a nice little uh, ballistic nylon sheath that goes on your belt. But um, if you're looking for an EDC knife that is a fixed blade at a great price, you're talking about $14.99 on this thing on sale right now, regularly just $19.99. Great little knife. Let's look at it, and I'll tell you about it. So you're talking about a knife here that has a 3.2 inch black powder coated SK5 carbon steel blade. So this is a carbon steel fixed blade, full tang fixed blade knife right there. It is nearly an eighth of an inch thick at 0.124 inches thick. Um, These are gray and black G10 handles that I think look fantastic. You have a bird's eye pin up here that is steel. And then you have a lanyard tube, a big size lanyard tube at the back end of this knife. It's 7.25 inches overall and does weigh in at just 4.4 ounces. And, of course, comes with that CRKT uh, ballistic nylon sheath that goes right on your belt. Again, $19.99 regularly. Right now, $14.99. <coughs> that is 
really fantastic. That that is an outrageous price for that. Yeah, the other one they make is the Bird and Trout. That is a smaller version of this particular knife, the Mossback Bird and Trout. Yeah, this is the Mossback Hunter. It's a little bit bigger. You got some uh, decently aggressive jumping, so you can get out on this blade and make your push cuts or your pulls uh, through. I, I dig it. And that's going to be a great knife to um, maintain an edge. Oh, yeah. That's going to be an easy knife to sharpen, especially if you're new to it and uh, are just getting into it. It's going to be easy to get that edge back. Um, And it's going to be a great knife, especially at that price point, for you to get into sharpening, too. Oh, yeah. I I cannot sell this knife more. I don't don't know why I think that's just pretty. I just think it is. Um, The way that palm swell is feels great in your hand. It, it gives you a nice, strong grip. Uh, the gray and black G10 just looks fantastic yeah. to me. Uh, I think all around this is a great, great little knife, and especially at that price point. you got a hunter on your list. Go ahead and give me a look at that. They actually complimented your black paper heavy stuff. I, I know, right? I mean, that's that's six for six, boys and girls. It's all the knife. <laughs> It's, it's got to be the knife. <laughs> it's got to be the knife. There is no way that is my paper cutting talent. <laughs> seven for seven right there. We will see how many we can go today. Can I what get eight? <laughs> what you people don't see is him sitting at home at night with just piles of paper. Do you know how hard it was to score this paper before we started? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, go pick one of these up for Christmas. you still got some time to get that done, but you're talking about... Fourteen ninety nine on sale right now from CRKT. If not, it's nineteen ninety nine for a great little seven and, and a quarter inch um, full tang fixed blade called the Mossback Hunter from CRKT. I love it. I love it. They like it out there in in. Yes, they do. And uh, John Voorhees actually wor- is, has it on his hip today. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. John Voorhees. We're gonna jump into a knife that is um, kind of cool. It's a brand new knife from Gerber. Um, uh, not brand new. It's been out for a little bit of while, uh, a little while, and it's called an arm bar. To me, this is like half of a multi-tool. Uh, this is a knife with multi-tool function in it. Uh, there are actually two different versions of the arm bar. There's one, uh, what is it, cork? The cork. The yes. cork, and it has a corkscrew, and this is the drive version, and it has a bit driver. I want to show you a couple things about it first, just real quick. You can one hand open the liner locking blade that's on this, um, and so you've got a knife, a full working knife right there uh, in this multi-tool. Now, if you close that up, you actually can close that one-handed. It's very uh, easy to open one-handed. Let's go down here to two and look at all the tools that are here. So again, I showed you the knife blade. You have a bit driver that is right here, a non-locking bit driver, and I believe these are standard size bits. You've got a double-ended bit that comes with it, but I'm pretty sure that you could st- put your standard uh, hex uh, driver bits into this driver that is on this particular knife. Let me flip that over. You have scissors. If I can get to them, oh, come out. Come out. The scissors are kind of cool because the scissors flip over. So once I get out here, I flip this back over, and then they are uh, basically a spring that happens in these scissors. Um, you go right here. Ching, 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 ching. Kind of nice. Uh, you have a, what else is here? A pry bar, a bottle opener, a uh, hammer all, and a driver with a double-sided bit. I think the coolest innovation is the one that I did not notice was there. TC and Isaac both showed me this. That is a bottle opener. That's, Look at that. Yeah, that's what they're considering the uh, bottle opener and pry bar right there. That's the pry as well? Yeah. Yeah, you can use it the opposite way as a pry tool. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I think it's cool that it hides away. Yes. You can use it with the knife completely closed up as well. Um, you've got a G10 side here. No, I'm sorry. Titanium nitrofine onyx finish. Stainless steel. Stainless steel, black oxide finish, stainless steel handle on this particular knife. Um, I think this thing is just kind of cool. It's very lightweight for your pocket. If you wanted to have a tool that rode along with you on a regular basis uh, that wasn't too big, maybe this is what you go with. Yeah, absolutely. You know... So uh, the reason why uh, we were actually talking about it earlier is uh, we just did a video on this. It hasn't dropped yet. It's going to be dropping soon. I don't remember the actual scheduled date on that. But I got a question um, from someone, uh, a good friend of mine back home, and uh, he was asking, are pocket multi-tools, like the the Swiss Army type knives, are they still viable with 
you know, in, you know, modern culture with the Leathermans and the, you know, the plier tools that are out there. And so we did a video on why they are still viable mm-hmm. and relevant mm-hmm. in today's market and comparing a few different ones because a lot of people don't realize that there are things outside of Swiss Army knives out there that can fall into that category and can provide the the utility that you're looking for if you don't want to carry around a you know something like if you can't carry something on a sheath on your belt with pliers in it right so um, something like that is very very useful right. Uh, and you're talking about a knife, uh, a tool that is twenty seven ninety nine. Yeah, that is that is a nice little tool for twenty seven ninety nine. This would be great to put in a stocking on Christmas. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think you make a lot of people happy with that. But the blade, um, that's a decent sized pocket knife blade. And one cool aspect of the um, the cork version is, uh, like I was saying before, it is the only. Um, did you see a tear at the end? I did. I did. Uh, eight and nine. Uh, it is the only one that I know of that is a true corkscrew because it has like the lever that you, you know, put on the the right. top of the bottle right. to pull the cork the cork out of the the wine bottle, and um, that's something that nobody else does to my knowledge. Um, and I had someone actually ask me, "Well, why would you have a knife uh, with a corkscrew on it?" I will tell you why. Have you ever found yourself without a corkscrew? It is the it's awful. Like it's, I, it's like you have a great bottle of wine and you cannot get it open. I went on vacation one time, staying in a hotel right. room, and I brought I brought a bottle of wine there, and I was like, "How am I going to get this open? Right. I'm in a hotel room. I right. don't have a corkscrew." Right. That's exactly why you need something well, like that. Once again, TC's talking about me. <laughs> I'm the one that said there's yeah. no reason for a corkscrew. Why do you have a corkscrew <laughs> on a knife? That's I don't drink exactly wine, right. so I would never <laughs> find myself in a situation where like, oh, I need unless it was for somebody else. But I mean, I'm not. I don't like wine, so why should I help them? <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> just Isaac just throw them to the wolves. <laughs> Go find your own darn cork. Corkscrew. I, I don't, don't like wine, so why should I help them? I <laughs> you wino, go open your bottle someplace else. <laughs> we got Bible readings to we, do. We don't accept your kind around here. <laughs> we don't accept your kind. This is a dry apartment. <laughs> 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 uh, look, there are three, uh, two different colors in each of these on the site. Uh, you have the onyx, and then there's a green version, and maybe even three of them. But you're talking about twenty seven ninety nine on sale right now at smkw.com. Thirty four ninety nine regularly. Uh, there is a dry version and there is a um, cork version of this particular one-armed Marty 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 tour. <laughs> it's a Marty I cannot tour. talk today at all. Multi tool. It is a multi tool. You can tell it's the end of 2020, oh, man. My words are just gone. It's all the Back to the Future references. It is the Marty tool. <laughs> the Marty tool. Run for it, Marty. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say that the very next one that's coming up is my favorite knife of this show, <laughs> and um, I'm just going to claim it so nobody else can. <laughs> it is the Spider Co. Spider Opera. Now, if you have not heard about this knife, you can look at it and see that it is very different looking and very similar looking to Spider Co. at the same time. You are looking at brown Macarna handles. You're looking at some brushed stainless steel. This is a spider co that was designed by a knife maker an italian knife maker named max very infamous or very famous and then uh it's made in italy by lion steel and you're going to get all that lion steel goodness on this knife including the crowned spine fantastic little knife it flicks open it is a lock back it flicks open super easy you can spiny flick it if you have that kind of talent which i normally don't and i'm not going to try on the air today <coughs> But this is the Spider Co. Again, I've got to keep that record up. Spider Co. Spy Opera has a 2.9 inch, wait for it, M390 blade. That's why it's your favorite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Satin <laughs> finish, part of it. 0.12 inches thick. See that crown spine that goes right there? It is a lock back. These are brown Macarna handles, and they sit on top of. Um, is that listed? I want to say that those are titanium, uh, skeletonized titanium scales, but I am not positive in that list. I know I wrote a story about this, but I, I'd have to look it up on Spyderco's site. Uh, you have the three very decorative rivets that go into this knife. <coughs> Screws, actually. And you're talking about a knife that, lo- with the lockback closed, is 
four inches closed. There's the front. There's the back. Action is superb. Again, right there, 6.9 inches overall, weighing in at 2.56 ounces. Made in Italy for Spider Co. by Lion Steel. I think that's a great pairing. It's 175 bucks. What do you guys think of this thing? I love it. It's beautiful. I like this as uh, Maniaggio Italy right there on the tang stamp. I think it's just a stainless steel backspacer. Is that what you were? Um, no, it was the liners. The liners. I don't remember what the liners are. Titanium. Yeah, that's what I thought they yeah. were. Because yeah. I just, you know, I just... I just pulled it up on Spyderco's website. Yay. Titanium liners on yes. this thing as well. So you, you've got the full, I mean, this is like a Italiano version hey. of Spyderco right there. Yeah. Check yeah. out my M390 blade. Mm. So William's not life just said that uh, the blade looks like the Crow Beak from the Mad Magazine Spy versus Spy. Yes, it does. It does. It does. It does. I have thought that all along. It d- looks Looks like an alligator head, and some that go with the drop point on them look just like the Spy versus Spy, spy head. Um, my question is, is this M390 sharp? My yeah. guess is, ho, 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 I should not try to cut in the choil. There you go. Nice. Mm-hmm. I like... So what, uh, what Make us some snowflakes. What do you guys think of... There you go. There you go. There's Pretty your snowflake, awesome. snowflake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you guys That's think fine. of, I mean, high-end knife companies pairing with other high-end knife companies making new products? What do you think about that? Sounds uh, expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for what this is, $175 is not that bad. Yeah, not bad at all. I mean, it's it's on par with Spyderco's other offerings. Right. But you're talking about... A lion steel version. M three ninety lion steel. Titanium yeah. liner lion steel. Um, I, I think it's fantastic, and it. I mean, it brings a whole different aspect because that's something that Spider Co would not have made on their own. Right. That, that's not their style typically. Right. But when you pair up with somebody that that is their style, that is um, what they do really well, then you get something that's a really cool collaboration that's absolutely gorgeous. So who else can we pair up? <laughs> oh, now that's interesting. Right? That's very interesting. Right? Um, can hmm. we put Benchmade with Viper? What about Essie and Condor? Essie and Condor. So, so, so look, we want to take Essie. Essie is a nice bushcraft knife. We need somebody who makes um, high-end decorative. So, like, uh, goodness gracious. So if you could take Olamic Cutlery and pair it with yes. Essie, then you're going to have, like, gold-class Essie. Yeah. Talk about a knife you'll never be able to afford. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm winning the lottery this Christmas. <laughs> you, you do a lamic. You add that in with like any knife. It's gonna, it's gonna be so. Uh, you know, we saw a lamic pair with. Um, oh, was it Boker? Who was it? Did the one that had remember oh, that Fox. one you Fox. loved? Fox. Fox. Yes, Fox it was knives. Fox and Knives yeah. of Italy. So apparently, you have to be Italian. To pair up with somebody. Yeah. There is something <laughs> to that, it um, seems like now, don't it? <laughs> There's a joke in there. And I, I know, know it you is. You guys make that one. Uh, <laughs> come over. <laughs> we have a good time. I bet I you just, will. I mean, you yeah. could do some really cool stuff. Yeah. Just back and forth between these nine. Weeks. I hope that happens So a lot if you more. want a lion still and a spider co, if you get that, does that satisfy both needs? Yes. Yeah. So yes. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> They so there is budget that way, budget friendly. They want a what? They they want an Essie and Microtech pairing. Essie and Microtech. That, that, <laughs> you know what? That's <laughs> an out the front Zancudo. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me baton that for you. <laughs> Absolutely. I would buy that all day long. Oh man. You just you could come up with some really fun stuff, especially if you did pairings where it was like you know we're back to the wine thing that Isaac doesn't drink. But if you did pairings, you could do <laughs> you could do like an LT right and a case knife pairing. Yeah. So you can have the sheath, the uh, specifically made custom sheath that slipped in and had the uh, you know uh, case trapper in it. I think yeah. that would be cool. Match the handles out. I think we're on to here something here. Write it down. <laughs> CRKT in case. 
CRKT and case CRKT and um, oh my god, it was just in the tip of my tongue too. I don't have it. CRKT and case could be good. They would bring that innovation yeah. that innovation to a case knife. There you go. That fancy opening mechanism with right. your new bone handled knife. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fun. Case would. Oh, That's how boomers that. lose fingers. I'm just saying. <laughs> Do it. SE5 out the front. SE5 out the Good front. God. I mean, it just pulls your arm forward as it goes. Say, it would either dislocate your shoulder or you wouldn't be able to hang on to it. <laughs> That's how I lost a finger. Slips? I'm sorry? Can we get partnered knife slips? <laughs> <laughs> we, we found the topic people want to talk about. We did. We did. Partnered knife slips. Yes, yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to partner with uh, Ariat. No, we're going to partner with Sharpie for those knife slips. <laughs> Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> the best engraver out there. <laughs> the best. <laughs> okay, boys and girls. Boys and girls, let's jump into this last knife of the day. Um, I really love this one, though. I don't want to call it the uh, Aegis. I want to call it the Sog Agassi because it has those great uh, late 80s, early 90s Reeboks colors, colors to it. This is the Sog Aegis AT. Indigo and indigo and acid version. I love this knife. I don't think a knife to me screams more um, Protec look than this one yeah. right here. I thought it was. Yeah, when I first saw them out there, I was like, "What is that?" Oh, that's a Sog. It's the Aegis AT, and it has their XR lock in it, but it is an assisted opener. Let's take a look at it, and I'll show you all the little features that are here on this knife. This Sog Aegis AT features a 3.1 inch D2 drop point blade. That is a tie knife finish. It is titanium nitride on 0.125 inches thick of D2 drop uh, D2 steel. Uh, you have ambidextrous thumb studs. They are that acid yellowy green color right there. Um, it is a rapid assisted opening, so this thing does move. Once you start those um, thumb studs moving forward, it is going to go. The handles on these are GRN handles, and then they have the acid, acid accents. The um, ATXR lock is that, thumb studs that, you have a safety back here that is that, and then you have this great lan integrated spacer lanyard tube on the back, or lanyard hole on the back that is also that acid color right there. Uh, ambidextrous, uh, uh, tip up pocket clip, gonna be able to reverse that to either side. And then it does have the lanyard loop, of course. When you close this thing down with that lock, it is five inches closed. I like this thing a lot. There's yeah. the back. There's the front. And then when you open it up with those thumb studs, man, it does whip out at 8.1 inches overall, 5.2 ounces. You're talking about a knife that is 84, I'm sorry, on sale right now, 75 99 wow. Normally, 84 95 I love this thing. Yeah, that's really cool. And that's going to go <laughs> great with the uh, matching Reebok tracksuit. That's right. That you, um, hey, no, no. I'm going to pump up my shoes, and I'm going to put my knife in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have pumps out there? Oh, I did. I did. They I gave you an extra did. three inches on your vertical. <laughs> <laughs> actually, they were the tennis ones. They were the Michael Chang versions. Remember Michael Chang? Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Mine were like Space Jam shoes that came out. <laughs> you could pump up the tongue. Did your mom tie them up for you? <laughs> they were Velcro. <laughs> they were Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. I like this knife a lot, and especially at that price point. It's yeah. $75.99 on sale right now from SOG. Mm -mm -mm. Gooey, gooey goodness. What are they saying about this thing? Is it too much? We're talking about the, um, the Reeboks and the knives, and you can, it would match shoes. And <laughs> yeah. Hey, there are some people that take their shoes very seriously. Oh, out absolutely. There. And slips. And <laughs> if we can get a matching knife slip for this. <laughs> oh, yeah. That color leather and then the um, grommet is the acid color. This knife is. This knife it's is working. Sweet. It, it's going to town. I like it. You can't beat that. Didn't we have these before and they sold out almost immediately? Yes. Yes. They're back in stock. You should get one if you want one. I'm just saying. I'm so you can carry it? It's at a price that I approve. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody's going to force you to drink wine while you're using it. Stamp of <laughs> approval from Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does it cost under 100 bucks? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's then good. I'll consider it <laughs> for about three weeks before I actually pull the trigger off. That's right. Watch, watch about ten different review videos. Make sure I'm getting around. <laughs> Oh, oh goodness! I laugh because I do the same thing. Uh, <laughs> it is funny that I, I impulse buy. I'll impulse buy them and not even think about it. And sometimes I don't even end up carrying the knife. But to me, I buy way more with my eyes. So that is me, yeah. and that is fully appealing to me. And it is because I don't have to stab a fool with this knife. I don't have to uh, <laughs> cut any Mr. boxes T-Rex. open with this. I don't have to do any of that with this knife. It, if I buy this knife, it's going in my pocket, and occasionally it's going to open some letters and some Amazon boxes, and that's going to be about it. Pocket candy. It is. Yes. It is the same as having a nice watch yeah. to me. Yeah. That I- That is, for me, what knives are about. Now, I know not everybody does that, and that's fine. Um, I, I think everybody should get into knives for what they want. Just get into knives, right? Absolutely. I agree completely. Enjoy it. It's You've enjoyed opening that one. I, it's a hell of a nice knife. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Christmas right here. You pay attention to this. Christmas. Folks, Christmas. this particular one will never make it back out onto our sales floor. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> have you seen that song? No, I have not. <laughs> not at all. As soon as the show is over and we go to boxing everything back up, we're going to try to take it out of his hand, and he's going to be like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns at yes, this point? Yes, we haven't seen the kitty since the fuzzy mic incident. Is the kitty still with us? The kitty is still with us. The kitty is still annoying. The kitty, <laughs> um, I'm just telling you, that wow. cat, that cat manages to, and I'm t- listen to this. So I work basically from home because of the pandemic. So I'm sitting on the bed. Every time I get up, the cat who sits right beside me the whole time decides that she needs to work the laptop. She'll put it into Wi-Fi mode every time. I don't know how. I mean, the settings box are up. You had to scroll to something else. And my internet is turned off every time I leave. At one point, she was typing a message in Facebook to Melina. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure she misspelled the F word, and it was fun. <laughs> I mean, that's what the cat does. Yeah, no, the cat is still living, still super annoying, but yes, she is still living and just fine. What else? Any other questions? No. no? That was, uh, we had cat questions. Um, uh, the, I called it on this one. This was my favorite, the spy opera, though. Yeah, I've played way more with this one right here. TC, what was your favorite of the show? Ah, that's tough. Um, uh, with this one, I'm going to have to go. I'll uh, trade you out if you want. I may have decided this is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that when you were when you were just. I called this one way too early. Didn't I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wanted to jump on it because uh, <laughs> in the next episode I'm going to jump you on it. So, um, <laughs> foretelling of the future. Can always count on hearing Isaac giggle that laugh right in my ear. <laughs> um, we were jumping on each other no, in the next episode. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Come on, come on. I'm gonna have to say the Gerber, uh, just really? for utility. Yeah, I nice. really like it. I okay. really like it. And it's and it's right there at the Isaac price point of twenty seven ninety nine. So yeah. that's good deal. We're gonna have to have a category on the website now. <laughs> Isaac's DBC. Budget. Isaac's budget. <laughs> Isaac's budget. Um, Melina, what was your favorite out of the day? Which one's still available? Um, it, it, it's a toss up right now because I can't decide which one I like better <laughs> after playing. There's He's a, spi- go There's a Spider Coast Spy Opera and a Sog Aegis available, as well as the Mossback Hunter and the Cold Steel Airlight. Well, since you're still trying to decide, I won't make it easy on you. I'll go with the Cold Steel. Oh. Well, I actually like the uh, Spider Co. line still, but it's at a price range that, what, how much did you say it was again? It is 175 bucks. The way I see this one and okay. is you're getting two premium brands mm-hmm. and one knife. Mm-hmm. For, like, so if you were to buy a Spider Co. with that steel and then a line steel with the same steel, what are you looking at spending? At oh, point? easily three hundred bucks. That's and that's the if way I more. and yeah. that's the way I see yeah. it. So I'm like, why not? And so, it's pretty. So so what you're saying is, uh, if somebody asks you if you have a line steel knife, then you're going to be like, yeah. And then somebody asks you, you have a Spider Co. <laughs> knife, you're going to be like, yeah. Yeah, and you just show them one side at a time. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's a line steel. No, no, it's a Spider Co. <laughs> It's a winner for that. I, I'll, I'll let you have this one because I, I think I will switch over to the the Sog Aegis. I think that Agassi knife is just fantastic. <laughs> it's not an Agassi knife. <laughs> I do dig it, though. I really do. Yes. So, Zach. Uh-huh. Of Zach stuff? Of Zach stuff. Mm-hmm. 
So can you picture a PVC fanny pack knife roll? <laughs> that be awesome. <laughs> I think that'd be great. <laughs> Hold on, let me get into my knife roll fanny pack. <laughs> Just rolls right out. <laughs> it would be like that. It would be like that street salesman, like that, that has like the trench coat, and you and open it, just, it up and it rolls out. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Oh, that is hilarious. Fanny pack knife roll knife slip. I like I don't it. Like this camera. You don't like this camera? I don't like this camera. It, you're not on it. You're not on it now. She's oh. watching the. She's thirty seconds. Yo, you're, seconds you're thirty behind. seconds behind. You won't be anymore. <laughs> you won't be long. It's back to us. Any other questions? Um. Anybody having fun preparing. out there? Oh, I I have my uh, Rough Rider Reserve kayak in my pocket. Oh 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 oh. Uh, still available out on the website right now. That's that kayak. It is a modified canoe. Love it, love it, love it. I've got my. CJRB Rhea. Nice. Courtesy of Mr. It's not autofocus. You'll have to come back a little bit. That's the. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) That's the Russell knife, isn't it? The one you guys get to test. Thank you, Russell. We are in the middle of testing it right now. Nice. Nice, nice. nice. I want to. I want to brag on TC. He got me an awesome Christmas present. Show him what you got me, TC. Was it one that was outside of your budget? Oh, I would have never bought this. Yes, he would have never bought this. Um, (laughs) Oh, that is a nice knife. Yeah, I I got him the uh, Spyderco Manix. Um, Fantastic in M three ninety. So pull it back a little bit. Pull it back. Yeah. There you go. (laughs) Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, Can TC Spidey flick it? Ooh. Oh, I'm not going to do it again. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Uh, and actually, after handling this knife and, and buying one already and just giving it away, I think I might have to get myself one eventually. They're nice. So, yeah. And the the Piratus, the Manix, uh, all of those that are in that same price range. and They got and the M390, too. I mean, they just yeah. feel good. They open well. Um, I, I'm a big compression lock person, so that's why I like that pair of two and the pair of three. But, oh, uh, nice See, stuff. I knew that Isaac uh, Isaac loves that not axis lock. <laughs> 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 so uh, that's why I went with that one. Not axis lock. Did you bring anything in your pocket today? I have no pocket. Not a single pocket. She's wearing pocket. leggings. No pockets. No <laughs> pockets. No pockets, no pockets on the shirt. to put stuff yeah. in. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Okay, guys, while we're sitting right here, let me remind you that we're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Please make sure you're following us on Facebook. Join that Facebook army. It's a big group of people who just really like to show off their knives and talk about knives, and that's all we do do there. Uh, No politics, no religion, nothing else. Sharp and pointy things is what we talk about and the Facebook army group. So go join that when you can. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. Great way to be able to be uh, notified when we have a sale or any of that stuff are the Instagram stories out there. YouTube is growing. We're dropping new shows and video content all the time. So go over there and subscribe to the YouTube channel. When you're the there. The YouTube channel. <laughs> the YouTube. I you know was, that I, YouTube thing? I thought I was going to get through it, and I just, <laughs> I just blew it. I just blew it. I was trying to roll into like a sentimental oh, end of the year kind of thing. You, you just screwed me, buddy. <laughs> 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 Go to that YouTube channel, subscribe to it, <laughs> and smash TC's like button. Smash, smash, smash it. it. <laughs> I want you to smash me. I mean, smash my <laughs> like button. So we're going to roll around in the next episode. It'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> smash that like button, and then, and then guys, hit the notification bell. That way, the, you'll get notified of every single video that we drop out there, and there's going to be lots of more great new stuff as we roll into 2021. Remember, there is no live happening next week. There is no live happening the week after. We will drop some special video content, but we will not have a show Uh, the week before Christmas or the week after Christmas. But we will be back in the beginning of January 2021 with all new shows, hopefully a new setup. Isaac, maybe? Kind of? we got some changes coming. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Fun stuff happening. What are you laughing at? It's bad. The YouTube. He's still going going on the the knife roll fanny pack. (laughs) Oh, God. If you had a knife roll fanny pack, then you wouldn't have to have pockets. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) 
and you could you could you know keep your dignity in there just as well. <laughs> I don't even have a comment. <laughs> <laughs> the fanny pack actually needs those things are like in some of those blocks you see on TV where you when you pull your knife out of the fanny pack, it actually sharpened its on the pull. Oh, oh yes. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Get to draw and draw. Like Get to draw and draw and boy. <laughs> nice. Like those uh like the kitchen knife blocks that have the, the sharpener built yes. in so that it just sharpens it for you whenever you just use it. That's right. So they're also asking about the rough rider reserves? Um, Rough Rider Reserves, I will tell you, they are on their way. Um, I don't have a date as when they come in. I would tell you something wonderful today. I got to look at round three samples. Oh, yeah, they're going to be signed up for that. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you got a while till round three, but I got the round three pre-production samples today, and they look fan friggin' tastic So we'll get everything out there in front of you as soon as we can, but they are on their way right now. Um, I think there are still two models available, and the the four is on its way as well. So just be aware of that as it comes out. Um, I'm going to take this time, since we're not going to see you before then, to wish you a very Merry Christmas and say thank you to everybody who watches this show. Guys, we appreciate you. We appreciate you, every one of you who shows up week after week, all the new folks that drop in. You guys make this fun for us. We try to make it fun for you, though. A lot of times we're not that great at it, but we try our very best to make this a great, fun, good time to talk about knives and have a good time online. Uh, come visit us at Smoky Mountain Knife Works in the retail showroom for Christmas. Uh, go on to the website and check things out. But just, you know, remember we're out there. Uh, we appreciate you. Isaac has been running the board today over in the corner. Wave. Wave Merry Christmas. Can you do that? How do you wave Merry Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That looks that's weird waving that <laughs> way. It is weird waving that <laughs> way. Do the queen wave. <laughs> TC is in the cockpit right there. Uh, uh, he is uh, what? Hoping that he is um, advertising the Pepsi products today he's, for he's us. He's out here. He's, going, he, he's eventually going to get that. Look at all that sharp. stuff in his shot. You got the Code 4, you got the Victorinox. <laughs> He is now sh he is now using. Oh, oh, you see the little baby Yoda back there. Oh, yeah. I do. Yeah, baby Yoda's <laughs> baby back Yoda there. Will be reaching for me. Nice. <laughs> TC is right there. He's got Chuck Norris on the wall. Yep. Melina has been on torture cam and laughing along with you online the entire show. Uh, my name is Andy. I'm the host of this show. Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a great and happy New Year, and we will see you live again in January. Tune into the pre-recorded show on Thursday. And uh, we'll live chat for that as well. Thanks for watching Guys Talk Knives, live from Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>